Hey my YouTube fam, I've already showed you guys how to do neck bones and potatoes in the crock pot. Now it's time to show you how I do them on top of the stove. Hope you all enjoy this delicious meal. Oh, you know what time it is. Oh, you know what time it is. Don't even act like you don't know what time it is. Y'all see it right there. I'm about to recreate one of my most viewed videos, and that is pork neck bones and potatoes. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam, welcome back. So I just wanted to show you guys, um, I'm just gonna state the obvious because maybe a lot of people do know how to clean their neck bones. Maybe some people don't clean their neck bones, I don't know. But when I clean my neck bones, you see all that here? All that uh, right here, that uh, all that fat, that got to go. And then you see that little thing that looked like a mouth? We don't need that negativity in our life right there. It looked like a little mouth, like, like for real, like, that has to go so when I say clean your neck bones I mean get all that fat off and get off the mouth because we don't want our neck bones talking to us okay so I already went ahead and cleaned these they're already in my pot see my nice beat up pot that means see this pot gets it listen let me tell you something about this pot is about to have these neck bones right now the last time I did neck bones for y'all I cooked them in the crock pot now I'm gonna show you how I do them in a pot okay so these is already clean. I'm going to clean that one over there. Here go all the fat and all the nasty stuff. And here's the clean ones. And now it is time to pick out some seasonings. We have to see what we want to season these bad boys with. I told you. Listen, I'll be giving y'all. None of this jive be planned, y'all. I'll be trying to give y'all like raw, uncut, like footage. Like I didn't even pick out what seasonings I want to season my neck bones with. Because every time I cook. Every time I cook, I'm using different seasonings. Like, I am so in love with seasonings. I got my Asian uh, seasonings up there. I got all my sweet stuff up. Listen, I love me some seasonings. So, we definitely going with some black pepper. And sorry if the camera is tripping because I'm holding everything. Of course, um, holding the camera with one hand. So, we're going to go with some black pepper. And we go go with some. It's just how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let the spirit guide you. How we feeling today? We feeling some garlic powder. Let me see what's down here. All these is my McCormick. I love me some Weber and McCormick. Let me see. Yep. Roasted garlic and herb. We going with some of that today. What else we got in here? What else is high in here? Mediterranean herb. I like. I like the way this tastes and you see they say this is for fish and chicken they say it's for fish and chicken but guess what step out the box it's your food your rules you don't have to just because they say it's for your fish and your chicken don't mean you can't season your pork with it get your life together so um we is going with some I think I'm gonna go with some salt free i love the salt free seasoning as y'all know um a little bit of onion salt and i don't know if i add some more i'll let you guys know but right now that is what we are going to start with and i am going to season this uh not on the heavy side not on the light side because it has to like boil out you know you're going to need a lot of seasoning so i'm going to get these bad boys nice and seasoned up and I think I got a little bit of beef um, stock or beef broth left. So I think I'm going to put the beef broth in here. I'm going to add these seasonings up in that joint. And yeah, we just go take it from there. I'll show you guys the next step. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam. So I did have a little bit of beef broth. Um, probably can't even see it, but I had a little bit, if you can see it down at the bottom, that I poured in that pot. So now what we are about to do is take some water and we are just going to, I just filled the uh, beef broth thingamajiggy with uh, water. So we are about to pour it in some water. and i'm gonna do no you know what i'm gonna keep it just like that see where that level is 
because these neck bones is going to make their own juice too. And see the seasonings, I seasoned it very, very well, guys. Do not be afraid to step out the box and do not be afraid to season your food. Um, so now it's nothing to it but to put on our lid. I am not going to add in um, my onions and things yet. I want these to kind of come up to a nice boil first and then I'm going to chop up my um, white onion. I may put a little bit of celery in there just for like some extra flavor. Um, and yeah, so we just go take it from there. Okay, y'all stay tuned. Okay, YouTube fam, add in a whole white onion. After you toss in your onion, you guys, toss in about two stalks of celery. All right, my YouTube fam, so after you toss in your onion and your celery, give it a nice stir. You know, just to incorporate those onions, I'm going to do it better. I'm doing it one-handed now. I could do it better once I uh, turn the camera off. But what I'm going to do is incorporate this really good into my pot of neck bones and all those seasonings. And then I'm going to let this cook for about another... I'm going to, first of all, turn the fire down to a simmer. And then I'm going to let this cook for another hour and a half and then I'm going to come back to check it out so if it's to my liking we are going to toss in us some carrots and we are also going to toss in some delicious uh mini potatoes so stay tuned you guys all right my youtube fam so now the onions and the celery have basically disappeared within the neck bones and it is just packed with so much flavor already so now and I did add some more water off camera and as you can see that water is just nice and seasoned also so I added more water because now it is time to add in our potatoes and our carrots um, the carrots is optional I just love the way the carrots taste and the broth and all that so now I'm about to add in if I could do it with one hand I'm about to add in our potatoes and carrots and so far you guys hold on I don't want to splash this everywhere okay and so far you guys my neck bones have been cooking for about two and a half hours and they are um, nice and tender um, they can be a little bit more tender but they are based they are tender though um, so what I'm also going to add right now is a thickening agent and I chose a uh, flour and water and in this flour and water is more seasoning it is some slap your mama seasoning um, just to give these neck bones even more flavor because added in water you're taking away from the flavor so um, let's add this in go okay now let's give this a nice good stir and we are going to let this cook low and slow for another hour or at least until the water is about midway down I'm going to let a lot of that um, juice um, cook down so let's continue to cook this low and slow and the next time we open up this lid, these bad boys is going to get tasted. Um, I'm going to taste the broth to see if I need any more seasoning. And after that, it is time to make us some cornbread so we can eat. Stay tuned, y'all. All right, my beautiful YouTube fam. So here is our beautiful neck bone broth that we have here. And I still want to thicken it up a little bit more so I took all of my neck bones and potatoes and carrots out and now what we are about to do hope you guys can see that okay so now what we're about to do is thicken this up even more and I made another little slurry here we don't need any more seasoning so just add that slurry okay right in there that's why I kept the fire real high and that's just gonna thicken up come on steam And that's gonna thicken up so good. 
if it wasn't for the steam, y'all could see it. See, I still got a potato in there and a bone. Hold on. I hope y'all can see how that thickened up so nice. Thickened up immediately. But anyways, you guys, I just wanted to thicken up that gravy a little bit more. And also, y'all, guess what I found in the grocery store today? Good night. Why in the world? Pillsbury. Now, these probably been out. And I'm just now getting hip to it, but I just found these. Like Pillsbury always coming out with some new stuff to make me more fat. Now, y'all know I was gonna try these cornbread swirls. So six coming, um, six come in the container, which is just the perfect amount. Cause I'm gonna eat five and then I'm gonna make my fiance and daughter split one. I'm just playing. But um, I can't wait to see what these taste like, y'all. These Hopefully these joints is um, hitting and they go real good with this neck bone dinner. But yes, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all this. If um, if you tried it out, let me know how you liked it. I can't wait to try it. But y'all, I will be back with the finished results. All right, my YouTube fam, here is my finished neck bones and potatoes. I am probably going to make some rice to um, go on the side or to go underneath these neck bones. Yes, we are doing double starches tonight. Get your life. They came out so tender. Look at that. Effortless. Oh, oh, oh. So y'all, y'all remember our um, neck bone juice that we thickened up. So now what we're about to do is just go in with that neck bone gravy just like that we are going in with that delicious neck bone gravy mm, 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 mm. y'all there's plenty of gravy left so if someone wants like extra gravy all they have to do is just grab the um, spout and pour it over but this is my neck bones and potatoes I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe let me give you guys a super close-up seasoned to perfection flavorful tender I hope you guys enjoyed as always I appreciate appreciate you guys so much for tuning in more than you'll ever know thank you so much and everybody stay safe and stay blessed. Until next time, y'all.